Hey guys, <laughs> uh, you guys must think I'm a weirdo. That's okay. How are we all today, guys? I feel fantastic. You honestly, you have no idea how good it feels to be with me right now. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Creepy ass. Anyway, um, so I was just going along here was like trying to find a way to get back into this room, remember that this hole is plugged, but then I started looking at all my uh, blaze rods go through, so I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, th this needs to be shut off now, so I know that I can't go through there. Um, and that too. Cool. That looks so creepy. Um, but like, not creepy enough, like it's not a creeper, it's just not, like, it looks creepy in the fact that it just doesn't look right. Anyway, um... That's me kind of, you know, bitching about the fact that a building that I didn't have to make isn't looking right. I could try and fix it, but can't be bothered. Anyway, um, so we've got a new challenger to enter the ring. Oh, wow. Uh, go away. Anyway, new challenger has entered the ring. There are now two donators that have CB as their, uh, as their initials. So I'm going to put an, up another sign, but really I need you guys to, uh, you know, PM me on the uh, on the YouTubes or on my Facebook page and uh, let me know because I don't want you guys to have to um, you know <laughs> if there's two CVs it's like how do you know which one is which no uh. anyway <laughs> so CB thank you so much for donating I really appreciate it you're amazing I love you and stuff <laughs> Something else that I was kind of thinking of as well. I know, like, all these guys that have donated, I know where you guys live. <laughs> like, is that not scary? Maybe a little bit. But then again, I live, like, about as far away from uh, America as you can get right now. So, yeah, I don't know, really know if uh, if it really matters. Uh, if I turn on C... Look at that. This creeper shouldn't be able to... Yeah, there we go. He can't get any closer. No, don't you dare make that creeper blow up. <laughs> and two. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, just started panicking a little bit there. I was like, no, not my house. Um, I kind of need to like be a little bit more careful about this place because uh, it is a little bit worrying that all these mobs just kind of walk in, especially creepers. And this thing isn't doing its job. I think that's to do with like logging out and logging in though. Like it should be turned on now if mobs come through. But uh, it's kind of a little bit deceptive. <sighs> anyway, taking out a little bit of meat. Uh, in our last episode, we finished off this, you know, whole arrangement here. Uh, we've made it so that all of our items are pretty much completely replenishable. Um, where do you stop? This one. So you must be diamonds. Yep, there we go. Fantastic. Yeah, this is going to take a little while to fill up, I think. Uh, but, yeah, as it stands, we have no more want for uh, resources. <laughs> as you may be able to tell. Uh, yeah, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. On top of that, we need to make it so that all of these guys are, like, always going to be working. Now, I've had a few suggestions, uh, suggestions on how to make it work. Um, just trying to think of the best way to get back to my place. May as well use my books. Um, I've had a few suggestions on how to make the red matter furnaces work, which is fantastic, trust me. Uh, and what I want to do is take out this Klein Star, go back downstairs. Have you been fed? Yeah. You're ready to mate. <laughs> I can't mate with you, buddy, no matter how like strangely you look at me. Anyway, so we go back in here. What we can do is, if, as you can see, like usually oh, upstairs I power one of these guys with a collector. Something else that you can do is just pop this guy in here. Uh, as far as I remember, that stuff doesn't... Uh, I don't have anything that I can just burn quickly, do I? Um, no. Okay. Well, we'll grab out something just quickly. Oh, and almost crashed. No, it didn't almost crash. Don't worry. It's okay, guys. Don't worry. Ha, <sighs> harumph. 
that just cracks me up. Um, look how much resources we have. Like, this is insane how many resources we have. Um, what can I burn? Wood. Of course I can burn wood. So, we'll just request out a whole bunch of wood. In fact, I only needed one to kind of show you an example. In fact, I didn't even need to show you. What the hell? I'm just doing it because I'm an idiot. But look at that. What it will do is burn out as much as it needs to, and uh, it will take out the EMC value that it needs straight from the Klein Star. That was at 50%, oh, 50,000 though, so I'm not sure how long they will last. Uh, maybe it will be best to just have like a big, huge Klein Star. And like uh, like one of these ones, the Klein Star Sphere, just fill it up into these guys and we'll probably never have to worry about it ever. Uh, but for now, oh, what the hell happened? No, you go in here. <laughs> I know that you don't want to get turned into coal. Yeah, we're going to have to make a bigger Klein Star because if it's already gone down like a couple hundred, uh, that's not going to last too long really, is it? Yeah, okay. Uh, on top of that, we need to create a, another macerator. We need to upgrade these machines and the way that we power them. Uh, or do we? No, yeah, that's the low voltage thing there. So that should be okay. Uh, so yeah, we need to upgrade these machines. So we'll get out the better extractor. Uh, what's with the extra rubber? That's weird. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Something else that I should do is make a pipe that I can just kind of chuck things into and it will uh, put everything back into one of the chests upstairs. That may be a good idea. <sighs> okay. Just so that I don't have to do this stuff again. Like, rubber is probably too kind of good to just throw away like that, so I'll just put it in there. And, uh, yeah. So, I don't really know what I should do with these guys. Maybe I could just condense the lot since I don't really need to worry about that stuff again. Yeah, here we go. So this is what happens when you put a gem of eternal density in here. <laughs> Just like that, for red matter. Um, I'll probably chuck that straight into the diamonds chest. Yeah! <coughs> oh, excuse me. See? you can Like, whenever I burp, you can tell that I've like just eaten something or just drank something. At the moment I have my uh, nice lovely little drink here, so that's cool. Um, Right, so as it stands, we should be able to just put that back here, turn it off, go back into this chest, take out the diamonds and the red matter and the dark matter, and pop it all into here, turn it all into dark matter, um, anything else that we don't need, yeah, all that, that, interdiction torch, which I think I transmuted to get, um, yeah, that just got rid of a lot of it that didn't really give me anything. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, on top of that, I think... Yeah, right, what was I going to do? I was going to put all of the stuff into that chest. Yeah. Uh, I just need to think for a second, so I will be right back. <laughs> oh, dear. I was just, like, going through all of these and thinking, well... I want to make it so that I never have to fill these guys up with coal again, and of course we've got the bajillion different uh, provider, no not provider, supplier pipes, which is fine, um, in order to make sure that these, you know, can keep getting filled up. So I was thinking, you know, how, what are we going to need in order to, uh, you know, make these continuously powered? Like, we can get rid of those levers so that it can, um, and then just put some gates on here. Oh, well, we need to get rid of the levers so that we've got a space for the supply pipes to put through there. So that's fine. Then we need a way to power these machines, which, like, we can't put it on this side because there's cable running under there. Can't put it on the back sides because, you know, that would mean that only one is left unpowered, which isn't, you know, ideal either. And so I was thinking, well, we're going to have to get some gates. And in order to do that, we're going to need, like, the laser... Um, you know, well, the item called laser, and then an assembly table, but those need to be powered in order to work, so in order to do that, we're going to need, like, even more stuff. So, yeah. So I was thinking, well, maybe I'll just uh, upgrade this side instead. And I was thinking, oh, centrifuge extractor, okay, let's find that. And so I looked at Centrifuge Extractor. If you remember from the Feed the Beast series, we had a lot of trouble getting that because we had to find a way... To um, make the electrolyzed water cells, if we look over here, um, 
And in order to make the electrolyzed water cells, we need an electrolyzer which sits next to this guy here. And whenever this thing is at full power, like some of it will run off into the electrolyzer in order to fill up uh, empty water cells. No, not empty water cells. Then it's not empty, is it? Do. Um, yeah, so I needed to do some of that. <sighs> so first, uh, first order is to create the electrolyzer, I believe. And in order to do that, we're going to need some items. So in order to <laughs> we'll just run around here and we'll say uh, craft. Now, what was it that I needed? I need one electronic circuit and four copper cables. So craft uh, one electronic circuit and four copper cables. Where are you? Oh, there you are. It says that I've got no um, rubber, but I think I'm pretty sure I do. <laughs> Like, that doesn't make sense to me. Um, oh, wait, no, it says rubber in here. Okay, so never mind. Don't worry, I'm just dumb. And uh, four copper cables. Uh, we're going to need some tin supply. So where we go? Tin. Uh, I think it's four. So all of that. Uh, is there anything else? And a machine block. Okay, so we'll get out a machine block two. Uh... I want to see if the refined iron thing works. Um, you know what? Let's let's request a few machine blocks because I'm not sure, like how that's going to work. That's one. Oh, it's using all the chests from the other room. Okay. Well, um, how much refined iron have I got then? Supply and refined iron. We've got two. Okay. Eh, I'll leave it for now. Okay, so we come over here. Uh, I believe we need to make the electrolyzer. So in order to do that, we need tin. In order to create the empty cells, then we put the cells here. Uh, we put a machine block in the middle. Then it was this guy here, and this, and this, and this, and this. Huh, that was so much faster than doing it in our um, Feed the Beast series. I was so glad once we managed to uh, create that crafting system. Okay, as far as I'm aware, all we have to do is pop it right next to this guy um, without, you know, breaking all of the blocks ever. Uh, and just place, shift, place. And of course, it's not going to do anything yet. It will start kind of filling up, I believe, if I am correct. Uh, all that power is just from, or all the power being used here is just from the other thing. Uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> <sighs> Man, my brain, guys. So here we go, and we take our empty cells, and all this will just get completely refilled. Uh, yeah, they're all stacking, that's good. Cool. So all of that is done. We go back over here. All we should have to do is just place them into the electrolyzer. Uh, obviously, we'll have to come back up here. And look at that. This little red bar thing is indicating how long kind of it takes until one water cell has been turned into a electrolyzed water cell. So that isn't too bad. It seems like it's kind of playing up with our MFE, like it's never completely going to be full again until all this stuff is done. So I'm going to wait around for that to finish up. Uh, on top of that... Um, let's see, can I place those back? One, two... Okay, I might keep that there, um, for now, at least. Right, so we've got that, we've got our client star here. Um, I may want to think about uh, creating bigger versions of that, actually. Yeah, so one, two, and I need another one, client star ein, lovely. And we'll turn that into... Kleinstars Y, I think, uh, I don't know, I used to be able to pronounce things correctly, I don't really care anymore. <laughs> it's your fault for, you know, trying to get me to be amazing, when I'm not. <laughs> I don't think that came out right, I'm sorry. Either way, uh, I'm going to take out some diamonds, I think that would be appropriate. We're just going to fill up our transmutation table, uh... And we'll make it so that we can... I could just take out another Kleinstar Sphere. 
Uh, depends on what we want to use our clients as Y on. Yeah. You know what? We'll we'll upgrade our client's uh, sphere. That seems all right to me. And we'll put this here. And that there gives us a client star omega. Then we need to go back into this chest. No, nope. yeah, this one. Uh, and no, nope, not like that. Not like that either. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm being a noob. Sorry. Uh, what we want to do is end up filling up this Klein star. Probably would have been better in retrospect to uh, just straight up um, something else. Wow, that many diamonds is what it takes to completely fill one of these up. Okay, so after that we can go back over to this guy over here. And as far as I'm aware of, we should never have to touch that again. Like, we'll probably end up finishing the series before this guy ends up being finished, but... Yeah, that seems like a good idea. Uh, then it was... You know, a bit more of this stuff. I seem to be wasting a little bit of time because I was waiting for this and I didn't really want to stop recording. But we have one electrolyzed water cell, so that's fine. We just need... Uh, that's not what we need. We need the centrifuge extractor, right? So, scent, refuge extractor. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I should have been able to count that already. Uh, this stuff is going to need a compressor. <laughs> we need one more compressor. Wow, that almost fell out. Um, we need one more compressor and we need a other thing. I don't know, my brain's not working, guys. <sighs> um, so we need one more compressor, one of them uh, each going to use... We need one to get advanced alloy from mixed metal ingots, that's fine. Uh, and then we also need another one for... These things, carbon plates. When we compress raw carbon mesh, which is fine, I'm not worried about that. On top of that, we need another macerator, so I may end up... Yeah, I'll, I'll have to just end up extending this out one. Not much else I can do about it. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to wait for this thing to kind of sort itself out, and I will see you guys in a second. Oh, okay. I have uh, just played around a little bit here. I've moved this down one and this guy up, because having the red in the middle is just kind of offending my aesthetic. Uh, also... I've got a new name for this one. Um, oh, there we go. Whoops. <laughs> uh, this one is no longer CB, uh, but he is this. Uh, give me a second. What was the note that you just posted? Uh, sorry, I didn't send a name. I would like it to be Count Chris. Do. Count Chris Do. Yeah, okay. And proof it is me, blah 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 blah. Fantastic. So this guy still needs to change his one, um, but otherwise I think it's fine. So thank you very much, Chris Count, uh, Count Chris Do. <laughs> right, uh, look what you made me dig, Chris. That was all on you, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, um, before I go completely insane because I'm a nut job. Uh, yeah, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I need to upgrade this extractor. Uh, I need to also change this from iron to something else. Compressor, mixed metal ingots, stuff like that. Um, I'm just going to do a little bit of work off camera and I'll show you when I'm done. Look at this cheeky bugger. He's standing, he was standing right on top of that and he wasn't getting shot. So, yeah, I, I don't know. Pfft. You are just the most useless thing I own. Honestly. <laughs> Why? Why are you so dumb? I don't like it. <sighs> so much for protection, right? Anyway, uh, what I want to do now... Since I need to automate a whole bunch of, like, advanced machines, I may as well get, like, ready to, uh... If you see this advanced machine block, how I need advanced alloys and carbon plates and stuff, in order to make uh, the advanced alloy, I'm going to need to get mixed metal ingots kind of sorted. So I need refined iron, bronze, and tin. Uh, that'll be fine. I just need to go up there and create the uh, 
you know, the crafting recipe for it, that's fine. I'm not worried about that. So we just go over here. We should just be able to ask it for... Um, one of these. And... Need to go back to supply, don't I? Uh, Ten times three. Request. And... Damn it, I forgot the recipe already. <laughs> uh, oh dear. Right, refined iron, bronze. So, refined iron times three. Uh, we can craft that, so three of those. <laughs> it had to go through this pipe first in order to get anywhere. Um, and that'll go get sorted, and we should get that back pretty soon. On top of that, let's see. Tin, refined iron, and bronze. Where is bronze? Are you bronze? Yeah, you are. One, two, three. So why... Why hasn't that one come back? Can receive true? Yeah. <sighs> Something's gone wrong, guys. Something has gone wrong. Hmm. Did you get sent in here? Import, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh wait, no, I got it. <laughs> it happened so fast that I just didn't notice. Okay. I'm just dumb. And, uh, no, not that one. This one. Back through here. So on top of that, <laughs> literally on top of that, uh, we place refined iron, uh, tin, and then bronze, was it? No, oh, other way around. Possibly. And this one, there we go, and that gives us mixed metal ingot. Which in turn, we need the crafting logistics pipe, pop that there, go like this, import that, and BAM! Oh yeah. <laughs> We're good. We are good. So on top of that, I should be able to go back down. Wait a second. No, I need to go back in there. That's uh, that wasn't even the right one. You silly little person. <sighs> Going for all the things. Um, one second. No, I didn't leave. Just finishing uh, recording. Smiley face. By the way, you are in my video now. <laughs> yeah, I meant that too. <laughs> Just replying to uh, Josh J5 Hawk, who I am doing that uh, SMP kind of stuff thingy with. Yeah. <laughs> um, today we were kind of playing around in the in the server that we're going to be using. He's um. He's managed to kind of get everything working now, which is fantastic. Uh, and hopefully we're going to end up recording that this weekend. Uh, in a couple of days, I think. So that'll be fine. Um, go back over here. Cool. Anyway, uh, what I need to do now is come to this compressor and place my request logistics pipe here, then like this, and say that I need two of these. Request successful. <laughs> it barely went in before it left. See, someone else in the, um, in the comment section says that I could use an induction furnace, which is correct. Like, I didn't actually need to put that down there now that I think about it. I could use an induction furnace. This is just faster. And yeah, I don't have to charge it, so that's one thing. Um, did I get my my stuff? No, I didn't. Uh, can receive true. Did something go wrong? Possibly. I'll just have to check it. I think my electrolyzed water should be done by now. I went away for a minute to uh, check something. Um, you should be up here. Tin. You went through. Where is everything else? <laughs> uh, okay, I'm going to need to see if I can fix that. Be right back. Okay, um, it seemed to be something to do with the refined iron. I'm not exactly sure what. Uh, I ended up making a bunch of extra and now I've got some mixed metal ingots. Man, that was a lot of extra work for like no kind of big reason. Yeah, um, oh well. By the way, I've got a new friend. Uh, I call him Indy. You know, very original, I thought. Yeah, yeah, quite. Quite original, yes, quite. Mm -hmm. That was lame, I'm sorry. 
Uh, compressor goes in, well, mixed metal ingot goes in there. Uh, and then I'll get the thing that it makes, and I can put it back into the crafting thing, and then that's taut. Um, and, yeah. This thing seems to be going pretty well. I don't see it uh, running out anytime soon. Mm. Oh, by the way, I turned that other client star I had into a, another client star Omega, so, you know, that's something. Um, yeah, okay. So now we can create advanced alloy quite easily. I'm going to need another compressor, so... Compressor, uh, stone machine. Oh well, that's really easy. Um, yeah, I'm going to make another macerator, and then I'm going to make. Um, uh, did you run out of stuff again? Really? You know what? I don't need you right now. I don't need this. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna make a compressor. I'm gonna like you've seen me make all these machines before. I'm just gonna upgrade all of them, and then we'll kind of try and finish off the rest of it. So I'll see you after that. Okay, um, a few things are going wrong, namely, uh, it doesn't like mixed metal ingots for whatever reason, the problem that I tried fixing before still doesn't work, uh, like, it's to do with the amount of, uh, refined iron in the system, like, I send it away, and it doesn't always come back, <laughs> like, it doesn't always go in there, so then I get, like, the wrong amounts, and then it starts stuffing everything else up. And it is quite annoying. I don't really know how to fix it, or at least like troubleshoot without having to take down all of these, uh, destroy almost every logistics pipe that I have, and then start from the start again, which I obviously don't want to do. Uh, but I'll sh just show you what I mean. Craft. Uh, you know what? We'll request that uh, request rather one advanced alloy. Oh wait, co. Okay, so that went away. Um, that's not what I want to see. Uh, although, I'll show you what happens with that lot in a second. If I go to craft uh, mixed metal ingot. Damn it. <laughs> craft mixed metal ingot. Some of that goes away into there. Uh, iron ends up going through there. I'll get about two. I'll get two refined iron. I won't get the full three for whatever reason. I don't understand why, but it just doesn't happen. Um, I don't know if it gets lost or something, but either way, it just doesn't work. Uh, so that's one thing. I can fix that by placing stuff in like that. Like, I, I don't know what happens. Like, you can see that there's four that in there, right? And one, two, three. And that will finish off the recipe. But it stops, like, it doesn't work. And I'll show you the thing that happens with advanced alloys. Like, this isn't a problem that I've had before. Like, I don't understand what's going on, because it works fine in my other, um and my let, uh, Feed the Beast thing, so I think it might be something to do with uh, different versions. Also, uh, you can see here I've uh, upgraded my macerator, and, well, created a macerator, advanced, well, created a macerator, turned it into a rotary macerator. I have a recipe here for coal turning into coal dust, which completely works. I uh, tested it out, obviously. Uh, but it doesn't get recognized by the crafting system. I'm about to test it by putting it over here, uh, just in case, but still. Um, right, and remember when we sent away the uh, mixed metal ingot over here? It turned into the advanced alloy, nothing else happened after that. It knows what it is, mixed metal ingot, advanced alloy. It's like the output slot for these machines are just broken. So, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I may end up having to uh, just do a lot of all that manually. But it's just a real shame, seeing as that's like the whole reason why we started setting up this whole system was because we wanted to automate it. <sighs> yeah, that sucks. Um, either way, maybe I'll uh, try moving this now. Ah, oh, damn it, I lost my lever. And rotary macerator, put that up here. So now you should be uh, turning on. I'll go back up to my uh, request logistics pipe and show you what's going on with that. But I was hoping to get like all of this done today. Like all this whole last episode should have been the last one at the temple. Like, well, not for good, but for like a good amount of time. Uh, crafting. See, there's like there isn't an option for coal dust, and I can try request raw carbon mesh. And it's like, missing 8 coal dust, and it's like, oh no, what the hell do we do? Because we're running around like a chicken with its head chopped off. <sighs> it's frustrating, to say the least. That's, that's what I'm trying to say, really. 
it's frustrating that this stuff isn't working despite the fact that it should. Uh, we can request a whole bunch of raw carbon mesh. Um, to, to missing three coal dust. Request successful. Yeah. So does all of that work? Um, yeah, that gets turned into raw carbon fiber, which in turn should get turned into raw carbon mesh. Yep. And it's all dropping out here. So that stuff is fine. That at least is getting created. Um, but uh, it's just so frustrating that the rest of that doesn't work. And there's no reason why it shouldn't work either, because obviously some of this other stuff does work. Uh, and there's that uh, creeper. Whoops. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I moved the ones that were outside since they weren't working. Um, maybe I'll just take one of these out. I mean, it seems like the uh, Enderman like this area too. He's angry at me because it, these arrows come off as being mine. Yeah, anyway. Uh, take out that and we'll go kill that creeper. Yeah, if you guys know a way around this problem, like if you've ever had it before, like, you guys remember seeing in my Feed the Beast series that this does work. I have made it work before. Oh wait, no I didn't. I didn't do it with raw carbon. I didn't end up finishing that. Because I didn't want to make more of the other thing. Um, I don't know. I'll, I'll test another way to see if I can get it to work. But yeah, it, it's frustrating to say the least. Um, yeah. Just one second. No! <laughs> this friggin thing killed my dog. Rest in peace little friend. I turned it on because it was like it looked as if it was on but it wasn't gonna kill this thing over here the uh, zombie. So I was like oh you know maybe I just need to reset it and I did and it killed my dog because apparently they do kill the uh, kill tamed pets. Damn it. Uh, yeah anyway I just need to fiddle around again for a little bit. Uh, okay, well, I don't know, I, I'm kind of tired right now, like, it's not even, it's only just like 3pm right now, but, yeah, I feel like we've spent too long at the temple, so if you guys have any way to uh, fix this, I'm going to give you guys a couple episodes in order to try and fix it, um, like, uh, I suppose I can't really, uh, no, I'll wait until episode 10 to give you another map download. But if you guys can figure out a way to get all this kind of stuff to work, like make it so that coal will come to coal dust if it's put in there, like, I don't understand why that's not working. Um, that and my uh, mixed metal ingot problem and my refined iron problem, like all of that, if you guys have any way to fix that, can you please, please, please send it in? Because I really want this place to kind of be perfect. <laughs> like, I mean, there's... We didn't put all these chests down for nothing, you know? So if you guys have any kind of a fix for that, please let me know. Otherwise, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this episode. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. We're going to start working on like a little city uh, next episode. I think I might have to have a look around for the best area. But yeah, so thank you guys for watching. And I hope that you guys will have a fantastic day. See ya! <laughs>